Okay, just a quick example, because I want to address something you need to do in your homework, okay? So let's just say uh, I ask you to write out the difference quotient. Or y equals 1 over x. Corresponding to the interval one point four, one point seven. Okay? And you show me here's your solution. And I I I'm on the uh, picture for the difference closure. Okay? And you show me something like this. And you maybe label the points. Seven point five eight. That might be right. Look at the right at the moment. Okay. And you say, okay, here's point three. And here's negative point one two. Now, of course, there's something wrong with the picture, and the 0.58 is less than one than the 0.7. It should be going down, right? But if you do this, and then you say, uh, your slope is negative 0.4. Okay, it's a completely labeled fundamental triangle. It does show the difference quotient for this, although you know, this point should be higher than this one. So it would make the corresponding change on the graph, right? But if you did this, I'd say, yeah, that's pretty good. I'd probably make a little note and say, oh, did you notice that this should be lower than this? And you would, and you probably wouldn't make that error again, okay? So that would be great, except one thing. If this is all you show me for the solution, I don't know what in the world it's about. Actually, I do, but you can't assume that I do. Okay? You need to communicate, you need to connect this with the question. Doesn't mean you've got to write out every word in the question, but you need to identify this as the difference quotient for. Okay? So you would want to at least say this. It didn't take me 30 seconds to write that out. It generally should not take you very long to connect what you're doing with the question so I can see that you understand. Okay, there are two reasons you need to do this. A minor reason is that I can write these things a little more in detail if I see everything, okay? So it's a little more convenient for me, but you know, grading a number of these. It doesn't hurt me to go look at the way I assign things, which I usually have to do for one reason or another. Assuming I have to be near a computer when I grade them. And I don't commit myself to being near a computer. Okay? Then I have to go by memory and what I gave you, and you're using numbers that are generated based on the number of letters in your name and stuff like that, right? 
So I want to know what those numbers mean, and I won't be able to identify this. Okay? Which means then I'm going to have to go back to a computer someplace and look at these again. Okay? That goes with my job. Okay, I can accept that. But the main thing is, you're not practicing good communication. Okay? It takes only a short time, you know, compared to the time it takes you to figure these out, it takes maybe 10% longer to actually show me that you understand what you're doing, which gives me feedback on what you actually understand, and also gives you an exercise in communicating what you understand, right? Okay, those are important goals. Um, and they're going to benefit you possibly more than the mathematics you learn in this course. Okay? So we want to be sure that we document what we're doing. And it's, it's hard to understand what needs to be documented. I'll always give you feedback on that. I don't expect miracles, but now I expect, at this stage of the course, some effort at the communication. Okay? And a, a continuing improvement in your ability to communicate what you're doing. Fair enough. Please accept that's very important. Okay? It's one of those so-called soft skills that employers tend to, bend, to, to, to value at least as highly as content knowledge. Okay? Okay.